Hi, my name is Carl Good, and I'm going to show you how to use iMovie. When you open iMovie, you're going to see three basic windows, a couple little ones down there on the left. And the top right one is where you're going to see all of the editing you're working on. The bottom right is where you're going to import your clips into. You can see I have imported three here. And also you can do a whole lot of editing of your clips down there. And then up at the top left is where you're going to fine tune your edit. So first you have to create a new project. Um, I've already done so here, but the way you do that is you just go new project and then uh, you title it, you choose widescreen wide or, or standard, uh, iPhone even. The uh, widescreen tends to be for HD, standard is what, it's what you know, most computers, uh, television screens work at. Um, most cameras are shoot for, for standard. Uh, you can, the more expensive ones, you can select between widescreen and standard. You can also choose a theme here. Uh, they have some fun ones. I always do the top left one, and you can also add automatically odd cross dissolves between clips, but I choose to do none of those. Um, and then to import video, you just come to the file menu. You can import from a camera, which will give you a uh, window that pops up for, and it'll expose the content of that camera, and you can import it that way. Um, or you can import from your desktop just by navigating to the right window where you've copied those files over with over to. So. Uh, I'm going to uh, show you what goes on down here at the bottom. When you have a clip, you can just sort of move across the, the clip itself and sort of see a general idea of what's going on. You can also use the slider at the very bottom uh, of your window, uh, very lower right, to really zoom in and see uh, details of what's going on there. Normally when you shoot video, there are only small parts that you want. There are only parts of clips you want. You don't necessarily want the entire clip. Now, you can... Uh, play this just by hitting the space bar Our classroom would like to thank and then hit the space bar again to, to have it quiet and if you want to grab that area you can just Our click and drag across and say you know that's the area you can mark it as a favorite by clicking on the these this this star icon the dark star icon and come back to that later or you can just click on the icon to the left where with a little arrow and uh, star and it'll just uh, move it right up into your area up at the top for editing. You can change your mind and, and that's what the white area arrow is for. And, or you can just reject portions of clips by uh, by clicking the X mark. You can click uh, on, a, on a clip and click on the key icon and that gives you keywords so I can say you know I can write funny here and then um, add that to the clip. On the left here on this little window now it says funny and I can actually just click on on funny and it'll only show the, I've already labeled a couple of things funny here, so uh, it'll actually show those sec those ones that are that are that are funny. The little icon in front of funny is split in half, and you can just click to the left one, and it will uh, it'll revert back to all the other clips. So that's what the icons do. So when your clips are in the upper left hand window, and you've placed them there using the star, the favorites key, by selecting portions of longer clips down below. It actually remembers that it's linked to that longer clip below. And you can come in here and uh, click on these little blue icons that appear on left and right of the clip. And when you do that, it turns the end of the clip orange. And you can actually uh, expand that out and include more of the clip that was down there. So you're not com completely committed and stuck with uh, what you selected down below. You can always add uh, and even subtract more from using that those little icons. Other icons that appear, there's a little blue one with a gear in it. And when you click on that and click on clip adjustments, it gives you a lot of things you can do. You can, uh, you have the clip video and audio uh, buttons. And for the clip, you can change the duration of the video. You can change the speed of the video um, and the video effect. You can turn it to sepia, uh, all sorts of, of things there. You can smooth it from st and stabilize it if you had a jittery camera. That'll take a while to do that. You can reverse the clip. Uh, in order to change the speed, you're going to have to convert it from the file, a clip that actually is linked down here, it has to become its own clip, and you have to convert that. Um, and then when you when you do uh, convert it, you can get this sort of a thing. That sounds like a bunch of cows. Under video, you can uh, change the uh, the exposure, brightness, color, hue, saturation. Under audio, you can uh, change the volume, uh, fade in, fade out, and another thing you can have under that icon, the same icon, is the um, uh, two other uh, selections that are important. The clip trimmer, which is will turn the bottom part of this into a real tight trip climbing capability. It's actually showing you all the video that comes before and after it, as I explained a second ago. Also under the blue icon is the uh, precision editor, which 
once again converts the uh, window below into a very tight precision error where the overlap of two clips occurs. So you can actually slide these back and forth and get an exact, exact, exact uh, edit on that. Um, there are tools here for showing different markers uh, that you've included, like uh, you, if you have uh, any text which comes later in, in future tutorials. Uh, that you've added or chapter markers which I'll show you in a second. It can also uh, show or, or not show uh, audio uh, tracks. It'll move back to uh, the, the, the next clip before it or, or in front of it and you can also play that to see how it's done and click done. So that's pretty handy. Up here in this window again you can actually just right click on a clip or use the uh, edit menu above and say uh, a split clip uh, you can uh, which w it'll split it right where the playhead is and that way you can just select another piece of another clip and just drag it right in between those two and it'll it'll bop it over that way uh, you can also right click on a clip and uh, at, separate out the audio detach the audio which you may want to do if you recorded some audio you don't really want the video like maybe birds singing or, or you know some sound like a jackhammer or something and then you can separate that and then you can move the audio around wherever you want that and then uh, click on the clip that it came with and just hit delete and it'll go away. You can also join two clips by uh, by select by right clicking and uh, also you can add chapter markers which are wonderful for exporting DVD and your chapters actually appear there and so you you just type the name of the chapter chapter right up in there and uh, and that way when you click on the precision editor it actually you can actually uh, fine-tune where that chapter goes. What you're seeing now is uh, the video that I've been working on for this tutorial and I thought it would be kind of fun for you to see that you know I've, I've got up here in, in this window on the upper left I have just a ton of these are the clips these are the pieces that I found that I could use from after mining all of the uh, original clips that I, I imported down below so I expanded these to really get into the detail of them and where you see orange lines that's actually content that I I, I heard as I as I trolled across here, I trimmed across it with these with the selection tool, and then I I clicked the star with the paper here icon to just pop that right up there, and uh, I just did that over and over and over again. It's a pretty rough cut. Now I can go in and fine tune the ends ends of those things and really use the precision editor uh, that I showed you before to to get perfectly accurate and. Probably if you're listening to this, you can see, you're probably going to hear that it wasn't very accurate, but I, I was on deadline. Oh, and one other thing I want to show you um, is there's a crop icon here. And uh, when you when you decide to crop, you can click on this and, and it'll, it'll blow that area up. But just want to tell you that one of the dangers of that is this is set to a certain resolution. And when you zoom in on, on a video image, it's... It's really going to get what you know very very blurry. Uh, the the tighter you zoom in, the more blurry it is. So you have to be careful with that. Your your video looks great just the way it is, but it it's not really designed uh, the technology to 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 zoom way in. A little bit of cropping is good if you want to crop a little bit something around the edges or a little bit, but really zooming in is is a bad idea. Um, also, there are a couple of icons up here you can you can uh, look at, you can turn a turn it sideways upside down. I don't know why you do that, uh, but you can. And uh, up here, there's another, on the lower left here, there's an icon, there's a camera icon, which I'm gonna talk about in a later tutorial. Um, but uh, you can change your, your, uh, your windows around. Uh, so those are just a couple of minor things. But I do want, there you can see that she's been cropped and she's very blurry now, and it's not a good thing, don't do that. So anyway, this is uh, signing off on part one of uh, iMovie Tutorial, and I hope this has been helpful. Take care. This is Carl Good signing off.